Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about something I really really like and something I really really don't like. But before we do that we have a couple of housekeeping issues to go through. First and foremost there is a relatively new episode of Nefarious Faux Pod out and if you've never listened to Nefarious Faux Pod it is a podcast starring myself, That Zach, Nana Lou, and Conism, all of YouTube. They're lovely people and there will be links in Jeff, also a link to the podcast so you can check that out. And if you have listened to Nefarious Faux Pod before but not this Nefarious Faux Pod, Roger Rovensfeld wrote another Quake Marine story, so... Oh, let's go shoot some hooks at walls, man. Secondly, if I move my camera slightly this way, you'll notice there is no calendar because it fell down. And I haven't felt like putting it back up because when it fell down, I lost the little tack to put it on the wall, so hopefully I'll find that in a method that's not stepping on it. But in the meantime, this will not be up. If you have any suggestions for what I should put on my wall in the meantime, let me know in the comments. The last thing I want to mention before I move on is that I'm not doing form string questions anymore because I don't think that text was a very effective way to convey like what I was trying to say and people were interpreting my messages as a lot more snarky than they were supposed to be. So now I'm doing questions on view and those are video responses to questions and I will leave a link to that in Jeff. Okay, now it's time to talk about something I like. For the first time since Red and Blue, I am playing a new Pokemon game, and it's Pokemon White, and I'm very pleased. I've played a little bit of the previous Pokemon games, but I've never really been able to get into them, just because it seemed like they were trying to do too much, almost, and the Pokemon were all just, they were just too weird. And for some reason, with this generation, I feel like they've gotten a little bit more normal. Some of them are completely uninspired. Like, there's this one called Ducklet, which is literally just a blue duck. Like, I don't think they realize that's not a Pokemon, that's an oddly colored duck. So that made me angry, but only a little bit angry. Only a little bit, because the rest are generally pretty good. I'll be putting my friend code on the screen right now, and if you want to trade or battle or something sometime as soon as I figure out how to get around my firewall, we can do that. So if you're a fan of Pokemon and you have not picked this up yet, I would highly recommend doing so. It has enough elements of the old games to where it feels familiar, but enough new stuff to keep it interesting, so... And now it's time to talk about something I don't like, which is the movie Mindwalk. Mindwalk is a movie I had to watch for school, and I can safely say it is the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life, and I have seen epic movie and unaccompanied minors, so it's saying a lot. While we watched the movie, we were supposed to keep notes of our thoughts on it, and instead of doing that, I wrote notes about why I hated it so much. Mindwalk is a movie about a failed politician who goes off with his, ooh, just really annoying poet friend, and meets this chatty physicist in France. And that is basically the entire plot. All the plot takes place in the first two minutes. After that, it is an hour and a half of dialogue, and it doesn't stop. It's not even interesting dialogue. They talk about, like, systems theory and quantum physics and things that I should not be expected to stay awake for. Aside from little tiny bits at the beginning and the end, there is no music in the movie. It just It's just them talking. That's it. If you're gonna make a movie that's all dialogue, you would think you would try to make the dialogue believable, but not so with Mindwalk. These people talk about quantum physics and all these really complex subjects without saying um or stuttering or anything once. Now I'm not saying that all movies should have the characters going uh oh, duh duh all the time. The acting was just like wooden at best, like it was metered, reading off a script and oh so bad. Maybe I'm just not getting it, but the entire vibe I got from the movie is it was some college sophomore philosophy major who managed to get some money and said, hey, I'm going to make a movie about all my ideas so the world can see how smart I am. And lastly, you know your movie's not a winner if it's available in its entirety, legally, on Google Video. I would rather put little toothpicks underneath my toenails and kick walls than watch this movie again. And on that happy note, I'm done with this video, so I'll uh, see you all later. Bye.